Hello everyone, this is Ari from Tech with King and in this video I am going to show you how you can install and run Linux in your Android using userland application. So without any wasting of time, so let's get started. One of my subscribers always comment on my videos that they want to run Linux in their Android with using this userland application. So this is the userland application available on the Play Store. You can check out their download from there and the download link in the description. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can install and run uh, Linux, Ubuntu or any other uh, operating system in your Android using this userland application. So you need to download this userland application and the second application you have to download the VNC waiver. In my previous video, I have already shown about this. So both of these applications downloading in the description, you can check out there and download from them. So first of all, make sure you have connected with the internet connection and you have to open the userland. So I have already installed a Linux in my userland application so as you can see this is my sension this is already installed so if you want to install just you have to select as you can see this is the distribution means this is the OS Alpha, Art, Debian, Kali Ubuntu. so you can install any one of them but uh, I have already installed as you can see so just me just uh, I have already installed so let me just open it and show you what, what the problem in it. So as you can see it will open in the VNC viewer so just click to ok. So just click to ok. Now I have entered the password what I have entered during the installation of this Linux. So as you can see this is the Linux. So after opening the Linux it will only open the terminal. So as you can see this is the terminal and it will saying Linux localhost. So it did not have any environmental in it. So it's only Linux with this terminal. So that is the problem in this uh, user land. This uh, Linux is not for everyone. This only for those people who know the uh, programming and commanding commands. So I've already showed the problem of this user land with Kali Linux and other, any other distribution. So all these distribution are not for the normal people and not for the people who don't have knowledge in terminal and uh, in uh, commands well, and you don't have the knowledge of a terminal and commands and if you want to run user land with Kali Linux so you can install uh, and if you want to get the experience of the desktop with Linux in this user land so you can install this uh, desktop LXDE so it will go into install and it will it can open any uh, like desktop in your Android so let me just show you so after opening user land so just scroll down and there is an option like uh, LXDE so you have to just on click on it after clicking it will going to ask you to username so I'm going to just enter the username so I'm entering username at desktop and password so password you can enter any password depend on you so VNC password so make sure you have remembered the UNC password so it will going to ask you when it will opening the desktop in the VNC so as you can see I've entered the password just click to continue after clicking continue it will going to ask you to select the connection type so I'm going to just select the VNC because I'm going to run the desktop in my VNC viewer application so I've already told you to download that so I'm selected the VNC just click to continue so as you can see it will saying the last file it will going to download the uh, desktop uh, uh, files so, so I just click to continue and I'm using my mobile data so as you can see it will downloading something so it will saying downloading request assets so just scroll down and then let me just show you so it will downloading some files as you can see so it will going to take some time to download so as you can see it, it have downloaded both the files db and root so this is the two files they have downloaded so just click to back and as you can see it will saying copying files to internal storage verifying setting and this is also take some time it will set up in and set up in the desktop so it will going to take some time so let me just fast forward this video again so after setting all the files in the user land so it will uh, automatically open the VNC viewer application it will showing to uh, you are attempting to connect to this server so just click to ok so it will showing like this just click to ok 
and it will going to ask the password so i have to enter the password what we have to enter before installing the desktop in the user land so i have entered the same password here so just click to connect so after clicking connect it will going to open the terminal and here it will going to take some time so let me just again fast forward this fast forward this video and come back again So as you can see in the screen, the terminal saying you are requested new desktop environment uh, restored is requested. So you have to restart. So let me just click to back and collect, uh, click to disconnect. So just click to OK. So now you have to get into sanctions. And as you can see here is the OVNC. So just click to long press on it. Just click to stop. So it will stop. And now you have to again click on it. So as you can see it will be automatically open the VNC viewer application just click to ok just click to ok and it will ask you to enter the password so you have to enter the same password what we have entered before installing the desktop in the user land application so as you can see the desktop has been opened here VNC viewer has been running here and the user land has been also running here so LXD desktop environment has been successfully installed and running in the android so as you can see this is the VNC application in a previous video I've already shown that how you can run uh, Linux Ubuntu in android and how you can view desktop uh, the desktop in user land uh, VNC viewer you can check out my previous video so let me just show, show you the all the features of this desktop so as you can see this desktop is also based on linux you can uh, get the full experience of the linux in this desktop it's really based on debian so as you can see so the internet will perfectly working so let me just open the firefox so as you can see this is the start menu bar so just click to start this logo over there so this is the internet and it has some features and browser so just make clear open the firefox firefox is pre-installed in this so as you can see so let me just open the firefox so then installation purpose uh, installation process only for once so it did not require to install again and again so the process will take up to 30 minutes in android the uh, speed of that in totally depend on your android phone android phone and the connection speed so as you can see the firefox has been uh, installed here So this is the home page of the Firefox. So let me just open the YouTube. So as you can see, YouTube have been opened here. So as you can see, now I can browse anything. So YouTube is here. And now can I access any website in this Firefox perfectly working so let me just close it and this have terminal so you can uh, add some commands over here to install any other software you can install software you have to just download and uh, you have to just uh, type the commands in that terminal that I have already shown so this uh, have some any uh, other app softwares pre-installed this is some of the softwares pre-installed in this 
let me just show you so if you want to install any other uh, software in this uh, so you can check out the uh, check out it in the internet uh, so you have to just uh, how to install software in LXD so you have to follow the same procedure in this also so this is the any other uh, uh, other app software that you are running can run in this so graphics of this uh, Linux is perfectly working video can play the audio also can play you can also customize this desktop So this is the all the features in the start menu some pre-installed uh, softwares as you can see so this is the notepad just scroll down this is the keyboard you can open now you can type anything as you can see and you can also save in it so this is the fully uh, desktop running Linux based desktop running in Android. So this is the also known as Debian with LXDE desktop environment. So if you want to exit just uh, scroll down and you, you can see this is the wrong arrow over here. So just click on it and just click to disconnect. After this after the clicking disconnect it will be automatically come on the home screen so again you open the user land and as you can see get into the send sense and long press on it so just click to stop sensation so it will be going to stop everything will be closed and if you want to again open that uh, uh, desktop in your android just uh, open the user land application and click to sensations and this is the desktop you can install all this uh, uh, distribution environment desktop uh, Softwares in my next video, I show how you can uh, install any software PC software in Android using this user land application. In my next video, so just click to sanctions and you can add a lot of uh, uh, desktop sanction, uh, any other distribution in this. So, as you can see, this is the LXD uh, desktop that I've uh, already installed in my Android and I've already showed how you can install. So, just click on it. So it will going to automatically open the VNC or just click to OK. Just click to OK. And you have to enter the password again. After entering password, just click to done. So as you can see, this is the desktop again open from where we have leave it. So at any time, at any way, you can access this desktop in your Android. So as you can see, this is the same desktop again open here. You did not require to install again and again the same procedure. The installation process will take up to 30 minutes in Android. And the speed of this desktop will totally depend on your Android and the speed connection of your phone. So let me just disconnect. So as you can see, I have shown how you can uh, install the environment Linux in your Android using userland. So this video is demanded by one of my subscribers. Thanks to them. So they are motivated me to uh, make this video on this topic. So in my in my future video i try to show all these features of this user land so subscribe to my channel for the future updates so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have any other other question or problem let me know in the comments thank you